So today we are back outside, and as you can see, Moose is ready to play. Go get it, buddy. Hey guys, so right now I am actually doing our um, mattress, which is going to actually turn into our dinette cr cushions and then back into our mattress at night. So it'll be a bunch of different... Moose, no! So um, it'll be a bunch of different pieces, and then at night they'll fit together to be like into this bed. Moose, no! And of course we got our lovely moose. He is going to be a hassle this whole video, oh isn't he? Oh my gosh, cut. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, guys, don't mind him. Once again, we're trying to do this again. Um, anyway, Moose. Yeah, he's the biggest clown. Anyways, um, Moose. But we didn't get to work outside very much. We ended up getting um, the bases of both upper cabinets in the back um, kind of structured and put together. And we finished the skeleton of the sink or of the cabinet where the sink's gonna go. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. It looks like, anyway, a, it looks like but, a roasting chicken on the, on the video. <laughs> but, we, but we came inside and all day we've been opening our boxes um, from the mail and kind of seeing how our camera gear is going to work for when we're out on hikes and stuff and then just opening up the rest of our things. And as you can see we have our 6 inch, no, uh, memory foam mattress. And, well, six inches tall, not six inches, like, long or wide. Um, <laughs> Obviously, Mom. Stop. Do you need me to take them away? Yes. <laughs> okay, guys. Finally, Moose is on the couch and listening, and I can actually talk. So, anyway, I will be cutting this into, I think, four sections. So, the actual two bench seats, and then the middle um, spot where our uh, table is actually going to come down is going to be one piece but cut into two so those are going to be backrest while we're sitting and then we'll put them down so it'll be like four pieces across when we sleep and then on the back side is going to be um, for our little benches and that will be one long piece of the mattress and that will actually um, like always stay there we probably won't move it unless we have to get in those back benches but anyway so like I said we cut off this covering that most people would actually use Next, we're gonna cut off this thin, um, I'm not sure what it is, it's like a cover of it. Excuse Moose's crying, but this is like a thin covering that they put on, so we will cut this off and then see what's underneath. And it's supposed to be two or three layers. It's a six inch memory foam mattress, and I guess we'll just get started. Oh, and, um, so you're gonna need your measurements. I just, me and Ty just wrote them on this cardboard. That's what we had at the time. <laughs> and then you're gonna need scissors to cut this off if your mattress has it. A Sharpie to draw on the actual mattress itself so you can cut. And you're gonna cut with a perforated knife, like a bread knife that has little, like, it's a rough sided knife. If you don't know what that is, you feel free to look it up. But um, I don't have that over here, it's on the table because I'm terrified that a knife's gonna like stab me or moose or tie and I just, yeah. But anyway, and then of course a tape measure to measure everything out. And remember, measure twice, cut once. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, so um, I already started cutting this so you can see this pretty green color is our actual memory foam. Um, anyway, I am just cutting this now and um, in a little bit I'll show you the thing or the sheets that I'm going to upholster this with. Um, I'm going to do the upholstery myself with some help with tie. Um, I've never done that before. I know how to like basic sew with needle and thread, but I don't know how to use a sewing machine or anything like that. So it's just going to be a new learning experience. Um, but I'll show you guys that later. And I found a new Pinterest method of a no-sew way, so we'll see if that works. Hi guys again. So. Um, I have this back piece as you can see is just a little bit of an extra um, amount of the bed that will not fit in the van. So this was four, about four and a half inches larger than what our actual dinette is. So we have to trim that off and then that is our back bench um, seat. And then we will be doing four more pieces. So the two bench um, cushions and then the middle cushion cut in half so we can use them as backrests and then put them down to make a full bed but um, yeah so I'm gonna keep drawing um, on here with the sharpie to make lines so then I can cut 
with the bread knife. You can also use a electric um, turkey cutting carver. or turkey carver, but I don't think we have one here. So I've seen videos <laughs> of people doing it, and they fly through this thing. Yeah. So I it's like go... if if you have one, go ahead and use that. <laughs> I, I I'm hoping that we find one in the drawer somewhere because I want to carve this like a turkey instead of sawing at it for hours but we will see so I will keep measuring okay guys so like after 500 years I finally got these lines straightened up and drawn so yeah <laughs> I am really <laughs> tired it is Sorry. literally 8 30 at night <laughs> guys. <laughs> I'm wondering, <laughs> this is what I deal with. Yeah, I laugh a lot when I'm tired, so don't mind me. And that anyway. usually starts in at about 6 o'clock. <laughs> Shut it! I like to go to bed early. Anyway, um, now I'm going to try to carve this. I mean, <laughs> not carve it. What's the word? Cut. Yes, cut, cut this with the knife. Um, I wish we had the turkey carver, but we don't. So I'm going to just see what happens. I'm taking you along for the ride. What was that with the marker? I don't know! <laughs> Alright guys, so these are the pieces that I just cut, and um, so this is the back bench piece, these are the benches, and then those little ones are what will be in the middle, and then be the back um, little rest during the day. But yeah, so the next step will be to upholster them, and I will show you that in the next step, but one thing... I want to show you guys is that I did this with my socks on and well first we laid down a blanket or it was the piece that covered this we laid it down on the ground and made sure that way when we cut it was not like these pieces going all over the carpet so now we could just throw that away but I kept my socks on and there is like so many pieces so I don't know how I'm gonna get this cleaned off but where do the wise do not wear socks with these <laughs> All right, guys, so we have all the cuts done. Um, I have them against the wall, so now I'm gonna start upholstering these, and I don't know where, oh, I'll get them really quick. So we're doing the no slow option, and we were going to get upholstered like material, but the problem with that was it was gonna run us like two to three hundred dollars, and that is really expensive for material, and we just did not have that in our budget. So, um, we opted, and we found a ton of different options. You can use, um, curtains, you can use tablecloths, blankets, sheets, um, picnic blankets if you want, anything that you can ever desire. But, um, we wanted something that was going to hold up, something that we could clean easily, and something that was going to be comfortable to sit and lay on. So we opted with the king size flat sheet from Target. So these were $15 each, so it, we had to get three, so around $45, and then plus tax, and then the Velcro we had to get. Um, but we got these, and they feel comfortable. They, yeah, so we're just excited about that. And um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm doing a no sew upholstery, but it's gonna be able to be taken off to wash because Moose has muddy paws, we're gonna be in the sand, in the dirt, and who knows where. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, um, and I'll walk you guys through this, but I'm gonna use this Velcro that I got from Hobby Lobby, and um, it's a no-sew Velcro, so it sticks actually, and it can be washed, and it's permanent, so that's really good. If you're gonna get Velcro, little did I know that there was different kinds, and this is a permanent kind that you can wash for, like, clothing, so make sure you read the labels. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm going to start on that, and we'll see how it turns out. Hey guys, so it's like 1 in the morning, 1 a.m. right now, and uh, I'm getting really tired. I never stay up this late. Tyler's taking me out to the bathroom, but um, I got the two middle table cushions that are actually going to be our backrest during the day. I got those two upholstered, and I think they look pretty good. I haven't got to walk you guys through the process. I've been figuring it out, and I've tried two different ways with both, which 
I will show you guys tomorrow. Um, I'm hoping if, which I'm not going to get all of these done. As you can see in the back, I have the two bench seats to still do. And I'm currently working on the back bench seat. So um, I'll probably finish that one up tonight and then call it good because it's probably going to be 1.30, 1 1.45 by the time I get done and we haven't had showers and yeah it's just a long night um but yeah so tomorrow hopefully i will show you how to do the upholstering and the progress in the two different ways so thank you for watching today all right guys so there's moose cuddling this morning on my blanket and ty is trying to figure out how to do our upper cabinets and i'm gonna be working on these today again it's a nice morning, so we were planning on um, doing some more upholstery really quick this morning and then going out when it gets a little warmer. All right, guys, as you can see, we have that side done. I'm doing the bench seats right now, but basically you're just gonna cut your piece of fabric and then you're gonna tuck this in. And there's many ways that you can do these things, but this is just what I have found to be the easiest. It doesn't have to be perfect at first, and then pull it up, and always make sure your finished edge is on top so it looks nice. And then these little corners you're gonna just tuck in, and always make sure everything is like flat and just looks nice, looks pretty. And I've already done that side. And always make sure the top of your memory foam, so ours has a gel layer on it, and that's going to be the comfier side of the mattress. Um, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to put that down because you don't want to have this on top of your seat. So you're, instead you're just going to have, um, you're going to basically do it upside down. So whenever you're done, the Velcro is on the bottom and you um, have a perfect edge on top. And then, once you have it to where you want the material, and it's okay to have wrinkles. It's not going to be wrinkle free especially with bed sheets covering it. Um, so now we're just gonna use this Velcro, and it's, like I said yesterday, it's a sticky back Velcro made for fabric so you can wash it. And I didn't know this, but Ty gave me a tip to say that um, the softer one goes on whatever you're attaching to, and the rough part of the Velcro, that actually goes to like the part that's attaching to the item, if that makes sense. So I had no idea. <laughs> okay. So you're gonna wanna kind of measure what you're doing. And it just depends on how much Velcro you want, but always make sure they line up. So just measure and cut. gonna want to just fold this up a little bit because um, if you don't then you're gonna lose track of where you want everything to be so again we want to do the soft side down and then kind of line it up and you want to get the velcro to the end so they don't fray up more than likely and then I'm just gonna keep doing that all the way down and we'll finish on um, this. <laughs> okay, we're back. He had uh, some issues. Anyway, <laughs> um, as you can see, it's very comfortable. It's a, no! It's loves a, it. He looks very comfortable, <laughs> doesn't he? <laughs> he hasn't had a nap today for long, so he's tired. And yeah. so today we actually were planning on doing um, a lot of the cabinet work like we were telling you guys and it just didn't work out there was bad storms this afternoon and we ended up having to come inside even though we could we could have worked in the barn but it was just really windy and terrible and just wasn't gonna work out so we came in and unwrap or opened up some of our gifts well not gifts but presents that we bought not, not presents, presents. <laughs> <laughs> boxes boxes packages that we bought um like some of our stuff that we're gonna need for moose knock it off buddy <laughs> Can you sit still? This is a fail. Yeah, it is. 
And he is almost asleep now. Oh, he's gonna fight it some more. Okay, for like the 700th time, we have our rotisserie dog. <laughs> Stop that. Uh, but anyway, after all of the opening the packages and stuff, we now have our dog hair covered bed. <laughs> Is it yes now? And Ty had to actually hold our camera because Moose not listening and it's just a disaster. But anyway, to what I'm really trying to tell you guys is I'm going to cut this in pieces, which is yes, scary because this is a brand new mattress. Um, we've had it for a while and opened it up, but it's just been sitting around. It's brand new. But anyways, we have had this for a bit and we're finally getting to it. I think it's three layers of memory foam, like different kinds. I think there's like a gel in here. I'm not really sure. What Most it leave it, bud. Hey, stop it. Um, anyway, so this was actually on top. It's like a cover that zips. So if you're actually going to use it as a bed, this is what you would basically be covering Most. this part of the mattress with. Um, so we had to take this off. And then next we will be cutting this thin material off. Loose. We'll go ahead and stop it. 